All right, well here's the new processor we're going to be sticking in the dirty old Alienware here. It's FX 9590. 8-core processor. All right, let's see what we got in here. Construction process, paperwork, and see if we can get close up on there. All right, let's get this thing installed. All right, so that pamphlet that came in the processor. Installation paperwork. How to install various different AMD processors. We'll get rid of that. All right, first step is we're gonna wanna remove the liquid coolers, the existing liquid coolers water block. We'll start by removing the water block by removing this fan for the memory here. Just move it off to the side, out of the way, and then start loosening our screws ever so corner by corner until we have it completely released. Okay, now that we got all four of the freaking spring loaded bolt nuts and plastic washers off, we gently kind of try to turn a little bit and Work the thing up and off, and there we go. Now we clean our existing water block and remove the old processor. Okay, anytime that you pull the chip, you want to clean all the heat sink off of it, all the heat sink material, thermal paste, take it off. And then store it somewhere so you don't damage the tiny little pins that are all over the bottom of the chip there. Get it nice and clean. I use 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol and some lint-free cloths, which are really cheap if you buy them in the form of coffee filters. Cleaning your water block, you want to get it as clean as you can. Get all the old thermal paste and stuff off of there. I find alcohol works really well and it'll evaporate and not damage any electrical components. Just make sure that you get in there and get everything off nice and clean. That way when you apply your new thermal paste, it's not being impeded by the old stuff that's stuck to the block or heat sink or whatever you may be using. Coffee filters are cheap. Use plenty of them. Same thing with the alcohol. Yeah. That thing is a clean, ready to go. Now all we gotta do is just mount the CPU and we'll be good to go. All right, now you take your CPU. Good time now to open the box. Right before you put it in. Take it out, visually inspect it. Make sure everything's good. There's a side right here with a little gold triangle on it. There's a white triangle or similar on your motherboard. Align the gold triangle up with that white one. Slide your processor into place gently, not to damage any pins. Make sure it's firmly in place. Lock the lever down. Now's a good time 
clean off any fingerprint contaminates, anything like that, that'd be on top of the processor from your handling it. Just to enable, ensure that your surface is clean and ready for the application of thermal paste. I use Arctic Silver. Number five. Just takes a tiny little bit in the center here. And you're good to go. Okay, after your thermal paste is applied, it's time to reseat the water block onto the motherboard. Being careful to get everything lined up. Just gently let it rest on top of your processor. Now you put your four nuts plastic washers and start hand threading these on. Once you got the springs basically touching the water block, you then want to start going diagonally, working your way around, and tightening them up, making care and sure not to over tighten. All right, there it is. CPU is now installed. All we have to do is just place back the memory cooler, and we will be good to go. That's it. New CPU is installed. Now that comes the hard part, getting all the BIOS and everything set up and squared away for such a large and high power draw processor. Maybe asking how come, maybe asking how come I didn't use the stock cooler because I have this big nice Exos Coolant Exos external cooler and it works really good a little bit on the older side but hey new components inside she still works excellent